Shift for OS 3.1 is the first major update since our OS 2. Packed with a wealth of interactive tutorial, the first real-time dashboard, and tons of customizations tailored towards your preference and scenarios. It will be available for both iOS and Android users. This is a really exciting moment, and I'm going to give you a little walkthrough of the new app. Whether you already have Moonwalkers or just received them, the first step is to ensure you have the latest firmware so your app can communicate with your shoes correctly. With Shift OS 3.1, we've significantly simplified the OTA process for you. The first step is to plug in the shoes with the charger. The second one is go to the software tab in the app and press download and install. Then you will see the LEDs on each Moonwalker so it will start flashing during the OTA process. Once the software update is done, you can simply unplug the chargers. If you are new to Moonwalkers and unsure where to start, head over to the Tutorial tab. This section guides you through everything from putting on your Moonwalkers and mastering different modes to optimizing your experience with customer profile. The best part, this isn't just a static guide that you scroll through, it actually provides you a tailored coaching by analyzing your gait and providing feedback in real time. So once you go through the tutorial, you can move on to the dashboard and that's where you can check in each Moonwalker's current battery level, the temperatures and the operating mode and speed profile. The battery level is proportional to the remaining distance. If you tap into the temperature icons, you will actually find the temperature readings across multiple key components like battery pack, the motors, your main controller, the braking resistors, etc. The mode icon shows if you're in either lock, training, or shift mode in real time. So you don't have to look down, you can also look in your app to understand which mode you are exactly in. The next part is probably the most exciting piece on the app, and it's called Preset Profile. There are three preset profiles, including indoor, city, and sport, that can be adjusted to various scenarios. Indoor profile is designed for maneuvering around tight and crowded spaces. With the lowest top speed and gentle acceleration and deceleration, it makes quick turns very easy and helps you smoothly navigate between desks, shelves, or people. It's ideal for navigating through grocery stores, shopping malls, or even airports. The next is city profile which is built for navigating over sidewalks or crossing the street or simply hopping on and off the buses or trains. It has the right amount of balance between the efficient speed and the controllability. For most people, this profile is perfect for everyday commuting. The last preset is Spot Profile. As the name suggests, this has the highest top speed with the most adrenaline packed ramp up and slowdown. This is the profile where everything becomes super responsive to the slight changes in your gait. If you need to walk your dog, this is the perfect mode for you. If you are still looking for more thrill and customization, that's where the custom control comes in. You'll be able to set the peak speed of your moonwalkers now by sliding all the way to the left, the minimum speed all the way to the right for the maximum speed which is equivalent to your sport mode. It also lets you customize exactly how your moonwalkers respond in different speed zones. So instead of just one setting for everything, you can now fine tune the experience at each zone. The low speed, the mid speed, the top speed. If you ever want to move your acceleration or deceleration all the way to the very top, just be prepared, you will feel like sonic bomb on your feet with every push off. So stopping is as important as speeding up. In general, moonwalkers slow down gradually as you start to take smaller and slower steps. But sometimes, you need to stop quickly no matter what. And here comes rapid braking feature. With this feature turned on, 
Moon workers now can detect both your feet being planted out ground as a signal to stop instantly. That significantly reduces your braking distance. So there are two slide bars that you can adjust to how it works. The sensitivity bar, this is the one to show how quickly your moonwalkers detect your intent to stop when both feet are being planted. The braking force bar, that is the indication of how sharply or strongly you want the braking to respond once the intent to stop is detected. These are the features that come straight out from our community. Some of them are new features to improve quality of life, while others are now customizable by users. The first step engagement toggle lets you decide whether your move workers activate immediately on your first step or wait until the second step. The cruise control feature comes straight from community feedback. Our experienced user want a way to walk more effortlessly within a specific speed zones. Once this is turned on, and when you reach the set speed, you can now easily maintain the speed without pushing hard off the ground or making effort to keep up with larger steps. Just relax and let the shoes do the work. The shoe to lock toggle lets you customize how you trigger the lock gesture. By default, you can use either foot to lock your moonwalkers by lifting your heel. But with this setting, you can now specifically choose left, right, or any foot for locking, giving you more control over how you want to moonwalk. Shift OS 3.1 brings an incredible level of customization, real-time insights, and interactive guidance all designed to enhance your walking experience like never before. Whether you're navigating tight indoor spaces, or commuting through city street, or just chasing thrill in sport mode, this update has something for everyone.